mate. Bloody you scared me. <laughs> well, I'm out here looking in the underground, checking out all the wildlife creatures. You know, I have some favorites. Oh, by, by the way, Slytherin Sam here is what they call me, down from the underground in Australia. Now, as I was stating before, I have some favorite creatures that I really like to discover and really like to see. You know what those favorites are? Well, you can see here. They're snakes, of course. By golly, snakes really get me fired up. There's all different kinds of snakes. Oh, some that are poisonous, some that have rattlers, some, of that, some that are camouflage, some that are vicious, some that are just your average run-of-the-mill garden snake. Another thing about snakes that really piques my curiosity is the different lengths of snakes. You know, there's all different sizes of snakes. For example, take this little critter right here. There's some small snakes. See how small that guy is? Just about this long. I'll put you back in your home there, little buddy. There's also medium-sized snakes. This guy's just a little bit longer than this guy. Oh, he's kind of a wicked fella, isn't he? <laughs> there's also, and I have to be very careful with this kind, there's also long snakes. And you can see this, this guy's curled up, but he also can stretch out to be really long, over a foot long. Whoa! <laughs> Watch yourself there, partner. <laughs> so, just like snakes, your writing can be different lengths too. You can have small writing, medium sized writing, and long sentences in your writing. Your writing can be all different sentence lengths. Now, you may have to get down and dirty and really discover what kind of sentences you're going to add in your writing. Just like these snakes, you want to make sure your sentence lengths aren't just me small, medium, and large, or long, just because you know that's what you have to do. You want to make sure, just like my good old pal Levon Length from New York City, you want to make sure your sentences have meaning and have things in the sentences that are worthwhile. Lads and lassies, let me, in, let, let, me let you in on a little secret. And you know, in your writing, you can do all different kinds of things. Take these snakes, for example. If I wanted to describe these snakes, I could make a short sentence just by describing that this snake is orange and yellow. Boom, there's a simple sentence. If I wanted to make it a little bit larger, right in the medium length, I could maybe use a little bit more adjectives, describing words, chaps, or comparison details to make to add on to my writing. For example, the snake I researched has prickly spines on it. It wasn't as small as this snake is orange and yellow. It was a little bit longer because I added some specific adjectives to my old buddy snake sentence. You can also make your sentence nice and long by making sure you don't start the, word, start the sentence with the same exact words that all your other sentences start with and adding even more comparison details or more adjectives like using the color to describe, adding name number details to describe. What else can you think of? Right on, chaps! You could describe a, use a long sentence that would describe my snake here as saying, the snake slithers through the wildlife with its camouflage, green and speckled skin. That sentence was really long and it described the snake and what the snake was it doing exactly. Now, I'm about to go put another shrimp on the barbie, mates, but I wanted to introduce you to my fellow friends here and just give you a little food for thought about small, medium, and large long sentences. You think you can handle that? Lads and lads.